Hi, this is Lawyer Dan, also known as Dan Smith of DPS Legal Counsel, coming to you today with today's episode of Legal Scrubs. That's right, Legal Scrubs, where I put on my scrubs like an ER doc and I diagnose a, a legal problem of a small business owner or a healthcare professional and provide my prescription for what ails them. Today's episode is going to focus on this question. Should a Tennessee business owner who's in business by himself or herself, a solo in other words, should that person always set up a separate legal entity to conduct their business or does it make sense sometimes to just operate as a sole proprietor without going to the trouble and the expense of setting up a corporation or an LLC? You know, that's the question. I think a lot of people just willy-nilly, their friend, their neighbor has set up an LLC for their business or a corporation for their business, you know, did an, uh, an S corporation for their business and they think, that I've got to do that too. And maybe you should, but you shouldn't just do it because everyone else is doing it. You have to look at whether it makes sense for you and your circumstances. There are two main considerations when you get ready to start a business. Now I'm talking about Tennessee small business owners who are operating or who are going, going to operate their small business solo. There's no other, there are no other owners of the business. They would be a sole proprietorship if they don't set up an entity or they would be a, a one-person corporation or a one-person LLC if they set up an entity. So this only applies in that instance. That's the question I'm looking at today. You're on your own. You're, uh, you're going to be setting up a business do you, do you go to the trouble? Do you go to the expense? Should you always set up a separate business entity? The answer is to the question, should you always? No, not always. It depends on the circumstances. And there are two, like I said, two uh, key considerations. The first is uh, the risk of liability. People set up separate entities, corporations and LLCs, S corporations, in order to shield themselves, the owners, from um, liability. And there are essentially three types of liability that can happen to a, to a business owner. First is what's called tort liability. It's basically liability for negligence. Example, um, you're delivering products to your customers and you have a car accident, your fault on the way to uh, deliver the goods, that's negligence. That could be a uh, result in a lawsuit against your business for negligence. That's tort liability. That's why people sometimes set up corporations and LLCs to protect their personal assets in the event of a um, negligent uh, activity by their business or by someone on behalf of their business, like an employee. Second type of risk is, is contract risk. Uh, if your business enters into contracts with someone else and that other person or party decides that you've breached your contract and wants to sue you, if you have an entity uh, who's the contracting party, your business is a, is a corporation or an LLC, then they're going to be suing that entity, not you personally. That's the second reason some people set up uh, a, a corporation or an LLC. The third is uh, liability for debts. Okay, if you're a sole proprietor, if you're the sole owner of a business, this is probably not going to be that big an issue for you because even if you set up an LLC or a corporation, a bank, if you go to a bank for a loan, is going to ask you to sign personally as a guarantor. So that's not really probably going to be a big issue. So, the, so overall, one reason people set up uh, a separate entity is liability risk or risk of liability and protection from that. If that's not really going to be a, an issue that you're concerned about because of the type of business you're in or because you have plenty of great insurance and you're not really that concerned, then you might want to look at the second reason people set up a separate entity uh, or the second um, thing that, that affects separate entities and that's the tax uh, implications of having a separate entity. Now there are two levels of taxation. There's federal, U.S. tax, and there's state. And I'm talking here to Tennessee people, so Tennessee taxes. Now, with federal taxes, if you are a sole proprietor 
or you're an LLC, or you're an S corporation, it's basically going to be the same one level of taxation. Okay, if you set up a separate C corporation, or it's a separate entity, uh, so there are two levels of taxation at the corporate level, and then uh, when money passes through to the shareholders, you may end up paying a double tax. So. Uh, if you're looking to see whether it makes sense for you to set up, set up an entity, you're, you're, just, you're just as well off to have a sole proprietorship, federal tax-wise, as you are to do an LLC or an S-corporation. But here's the thing. In Tennessee, with the Tennessee Franchise and Excise Tax, if you set up an LLC or a C-corporation or an S-corporation, you're going to have to pay Franchise and Excise Tax. It's a tax on the privilege of having that separate uh, liability protection entity in place. If you set up your business and operate it strictly as an unincorporated um, entity, not an LLC, not a corporation, uh, you don't have to pay the franchise and excise tax. And that could be significant. Okay, so in, in determining whether you, as a Tennessee sole business owner, needs to set up a separate entity, you need to look at what's the, what are the risks what, from either tort, you know, negligence, or contract, perhaps debt um, risk, but that's probably, like I said, not a big issue. And then you have to look at whether you, you're comfortable with paying the franchise and excise tax in Tennessee. If not, you might want to consider just operating as a sole proprietorship. But remember, if you do, you don't have that liability protection that you would have with an LLC or a corporation. Okay? I hope that helps. Thank you for watching today's episode of Legal Scrubs. And if you have any questions or if you feel like I can help you or your business, please feel free to contact me. You can go to my website, dpslegalcouncil.com. That's dpslegalcouncil, C-O-U-N-S-E-L.com. You can uh, find my phone number. You can give me a call. There's a scheduling a link at the top of the page, and you can actually schedule a, an appointment to speak with me and I'd be glad to talk to you about your business question. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.